Um, I'm kind of an FP enthusiast for like half my life, but I also really like doing low level things. And um, I originally come from Gleam, so I'm part of the Luster Core team and I make this front end framework. And the problem we run into often is like getting people to install Erlang. And for some reason, this turns out to be like a difficult problem. So we have like this guide on our website where it tells you a little bit how to install Erlang um, on different operating systems. And then it goes on. And yeah, for Debian, it's really difficult. So it goes on for some more. And compared to Gleam, that's where it's just, well, fetch this URL and then unpack it and you're done. That's kind of a lot of the, the different moving parts that you have to handle. So could we also make this really simple for Erlang? And well, the, the reason why this works for Gleam is that it's just a static binary. So could we have a static binary of Erlang? And it turns out that if you figure out which options to pass here, and well, this doesn't quite work, so you also need to tell the linker to do some extra stuff. And this also doesn't work, so you bang your head against your desk for like uh, two weeks, and then you figure out you just switch to Clang and everything works. <laughs> um, and yeah, it actually does. Uh, you can make statically compiled Erlang binaries. Um, but wait a minute. Can we now like, make a little wrapper script and put our Erlang runtime there and then put like an OTP release at the end? And now we have statically uh, or self-extracting static binaries. And if you're using Elixir, this might sound familiar to you. And it kind of is, but can we do better? So for that, I looked at how eScripts are run. Um, so first of all, we have our self-extracting archive, of course. That calls eScript, then we call Erl, then we call our lexic, and finally, we call the VM itself. So yeah, maybe we can skip all those steps because we're, uh, we're doing the same things every time. And wait a minute, maybe we can just wrap the Beam VM into our own program that does all the things. So what if we like build our own program that statically links with the Beam and then just extracts the OTP release into memory and then does some black linker magic to like replace the open function with our own definition that then redirects it to our in-memory OTP release. And this then, I don't know, profit. Um, <laughs> so I haven't quite gotten to this point yet, but I kind of have all the pieces in place to like know it will work. It's just, yeah, yeah, it's still a work in progress. And I hope I can release this with, like this year. Yeah, that's it. Thank you.